another video. So we've got a special guest tonight, uh, Mr. Stuart Mellon, who's one of the professionals here at Curtis Naval Lake. So he's challenged me to see if we can shoot better than the course record of front tees. So it's 5,600 yards, two man Texas scramble, 63 to beat Stuart. Yep. So I think we should be aiming for 59, but anything less than 63 will be good. So it's only about two or three weeks out before the seniors. Three weeks tomorrow it starts, yeah. Weeks tomorrow, yeah. Yep. Senior start, so of course should be in really good shape. The rough's been up. Hopefully they've cut it down for the right part. So anyway, let's get going. You'll get done. Eh? Right, that's fine, sure, eh? I think so, yeah. I think so. Right. NR on the first. Just launch one down there. Try my best. Oh, baby. And we've given ourselves a chance. Yeah, exactly. Right. So I've had a really good tee shot here. It's just come down this little funnel, but we've still got miles. We're front edge of the green, but we've still got what 35 yards, 30 yards, 35 yards. So yeah. anything I'm inside like an idea of pace or seven feet really good here. I've no idea how fast the greens are. It's been raining all day, so probably kind of slow. Set, set. Yeah, good roll. Pretty good, yeah. Yep. Not bad. So, like, pretty much Andy's pretty much the line there, Stuart. It didn't break quite as much as I thought. We're going to be positive, Danny, tonight. I've been a miserable swine the last few videos, so we're going to be very positive. I knew you'd be happy about that, yeah. Much bigger swing. Right, so decent first part. Four feet coming back the way. Breaking a little bit right to left. Get off to a good start. No break. So it's pretty, it's pretty straight, Stuart. Yeah. I played that right edge and it didn't seem to move at all. Yeah, what'd you say? Good drive. <laughs> oh, what a man. What a man. I mean, there's a lot more pressure on those in a two-man scramble than like a three or a four. You have more pressure when you've got a camera on you. Didn't move though, did it? No. No. I mean, again, for how much the first putt actually swings Moved across it. End, it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it kind of puts you off. Yeah. It's the one thing, like, I putt better from 20 feet with this, but inside six feet, I miss more. Well, apparently today, yeah. <laughs> Greens look nice though. So, this is a different hole. Straight over all the traps. Yeah. I mean, we're 130 <laughs> yards forward of the normal tee, so 310 to the flag. Downwind. Oh, that is money. Cut a wee bit. Oh, unless it's in that front left bunker, that's not. Oh, we'll deal with it if it is. Yeah, be fine. It's, it's all right. It's down there. There's not going to be many broken tees up here, I wouldn't have thought. 
<laughs> First people to play off these tees this year. I've never seen this tee before. Nobody has. Right, I fade. Oh, too far right. Well, too far right. <sighs> nah, it was a bit wipey, but necky. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Pretty hard just... to get back to the ball from there, eh? So we're taking Stuart's tee shot here, just short left of the green. Mine was just over in the rough there, but probably a better angle, but a much worse lie. So we're taking this one. Uh, this needs to be quite delicate. Yep. What have you got? 60. Yeah, I've got 58, so. Lob it up. Pitching on a wee bit and up, so. Oh, that's pretty spicy. Good shot. Stayed a wee bit left. Drop in the rough, yeah. Yeah. It? Yeah, it will be fair. Yeah. We never said about a minimum tee shots. Will we bother with that or? I think a two man, no. Two man's going to be tough, eh? Release. It's not far enough. Uphill though. Not bad. Not bad. Probably still take yours away, it's closer. But they look good, so knock this in, please. This is pretty straight, actually. Don't think there'll be much. I would say inside left. Yeah. Oh, it was yeah, you definitely see it trying yeah, to. Yeah, dribbled a little bit. <sighs> oh, Hit at the dear. right speed, it's fine. Pressure already. Moved a lot. Wow. Like I hit that pretty hard as well. Mm -hmm. mm. Not good. Not good. Yours didn't look like it moved as much as that. I maybe pushed it a little bit, but mm -hmm. it moved a fair bit. Not as much as that, but they're quick, eh? <laughs> Right, so third hole, one under through two, that was, we let that one slip a little bit. This is quite tricky from here, right? It's you know, 290 to the middle, but it's into the wind, so I'm going to try and hit driver, but Stuart's just trying to lay up just over avoid these cross all the traps. But obviously, what he does kind of depends what I do as well. Oh, Mr. Reliable, though, look at this. Very high. What was that? Three. That was a three iron? Yeah. Jesus Christ, that was... Very high. Right. So, I think if I absolutely burst one, I can get it on the green, but left is. Uh, I'm going to aim on that bunker and just see what happens. I don't really know which way the ball's moving just now, to be honest. I think it's going a little right, isn't it? I'm not sure. No idea. Don't know. It was very well hit, but it leaked a little right. I think it had plenty to get there anyway. Yeah. At worst, it's a wee bit short sided. And... Yeah. This is the bugger though. Like, I've got to go all the way up there and see where mine is before we decide which <laughs> one to play. Right. So, being a little lucky off the tee, I've, there was a pitch mark. I was saying to Stuart, there's a pitch mark right here. So, it's carried this green side bunker and sat down quite nicely. So, we're. 25, 30 feet for eagle. See if we can make up for that mess on the last hole. I don't see an awful lot, Stuart. Feels like it's going left early and then back right on the green. Mm -hmm. That first part, you're going to be hitting it pretty hard through that. Yeah. So. Little left to right overall. That's too hard. Mm -hmm. Good though. It's a little too hard. 
Greens are quick. I wasn't expecting it to be quite as fast as this. They're absolutely glorious, so yeah, really good. Oh, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, <laughs> oh. I had to I'll move take care of that one for you, my man. Okay, two under after three, so that's a good start. Yep, that's a good start. It. It's an easy start, but you've still got to do it, so that's fine. Two under par. Oh yeah, I put a hundred pound bet on with him that England wouldn't win the Euros. It's not looking quite so, quite so good anymore. Right, so fourth hole, uh, 305 yards. 295 flag though, but wind kind of down off the right. So I think you can hit this right in the middle of the green here, Mr. Stewart. Yeah, I mean, I'm so let's see it. right in between the two bunkers. Yep. Right hand side. Let's see it. <laughs> Where is it? Bunker. Left bunker. I think so. Yeah. So that wind feels like it just switched. What about far left? Yeah, it was moving yeah, a bit. I was worried about the boy in his car. <clears throat> oh, there it is. I draw on the wind. Oh, a little more. It's trying. I don't know. I didn't see it down. Yeah, I mean, if it, you saw it bounce, it should be on the green then. It definitely it flew. The red flag. Yeah, it flew the bunker <laughs> on the right hand side and then kicked left. So that should be good. You must enjoy that since you're the one that fed me for this thing. Yeah. Oh, that felt nice. Yep. <laughs> If you're looking for anyone to come and do your club fitting, this is your man. Actually, come to think of it, every club in my bag, apart from my wedges and my putter, you fitted me for. Driver, three wood, seven wood, and my irons. Funny your wedges are rotten, eh? Yeah. <laughs> right, so hit an absolute screamer of a three wood here, and what's this, 20 feet? Not an easy putt though, is it, Stuart? Like it's breaking pretty hard. Yep. Feels like it's about a two, I would say. Mm -hmm. So that's... Yeah, I mean, a two is like well over a foot outside the hole. And again, the greens are pretty slick. Yep. Spot done a bit here. Yeah, I, I think it has to start outside that. Yeah. I think it has to start outside that. It was a big shout of four there. Right, come on. I just, I just pulled it a little bit. Just a tiny, tiny little bit. So that line was good then? Yeah, or, yeah, just a little more speed on that line, or a little higher, just whatever. Chances. Chance. Oh! <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Four That's under through four. That's... What, what did we say, break 50? What's that, 21 under? That's, uh, that's still a bit of a stretch, actually, isn't it? But <laughs> that is a good start. Yeah, we need a lot of twos. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to keep knocking it on the greens to 20 feet. It's just not going to happen. Right, so, hell of a start, four under through four. Um, and again, another short one, 298 it says here. I don't really get it because this feels on this tee like the wind's helping again. Yeah, it's like it's switched on the left. Like down yeah. off the left, again. It's definitely... Yeah. Yeah. 
Can you carry the cross bunkers, Stuart? I th I'm going to try and just go a wee bit left of them and cutting back in. Right. Try to get it towards it. What are they as a carry? Oh, it's only 230 over then. Right. Just take it. So the pin's on the left. So I would, if I was you, I'd be aiming at them. And if it falls right, then yeah, it's yeah, fine. Yeah. It's an easy chip. Probably just three with it again, I think. That's not cutting. Oh, is that dead? Yeah. Well, it's dead. Pretty much. Oh. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, I think it bounced once just before you the gorse. You still want me to have a go at me? In the... So three wood gets me on the green, right? Seven yep. wood, I know I can put in play. And seven wood, but seven wood does, oh, I grow up here. Come on. Yeah, you're hitting them well. Same shot. <sighs> Squats. Well, that's oh, okay actually, that's fine. Yeah, I'll be okay. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, when I hit that, I thought, um, <laughs> <laughs> right, so blocked my tee shot, but it's actually sitting perfect. We just landed just here and released out good angle to the flag. Pretty straightforward little shot, just a little 50 degree, land it just on and just let it release. Let it release. 50, 56. I've got 54. Yeah, I don't know if I can get that. Just with the greens being a bit slidey yeah. and wet, I don't know right, if, if I can get If you try to carry that, that front ridge yeah. with that loft, it might just skip forward a wee bit. Is that pretty good? Pretty good, yeah. Dug it a little bit, but yeah. it's fine. Dan Grieve wouldn't have been happy with that. That was like a release zero. Sorry, Dan, if you're watching. Doubt it, but you never know. Pretty good as well. It's quite an easy shot, really, eh? Because if you fly it you far... Can, you can get it wrong like we've just done. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and still I, end up I try right. to carry mine further, but it's yeah. just caught the downslope and ended up really good. Right, so a little three-footer for birdie. Should be, should be a formality. I'll try and knock this in and take the pressure off of Stuart. Oh, I just can't pop with this thing. I don't know why I've got it in the bag. I hate it. You just shoved it? Yep. Sliced it, actually, I think. <laughs> <sighs> Putt's so much better with the two ball. Oh, no. What? Oh, no. What have I done? Just right. hit the same thing. Edit that out. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's not good. No, nope. that's not good. Right, so a couple of pathetic efforts there on that green, not good. So, par five, chance to make an eagle here though, 490 yards. Yeah, wind's in off the right. Oh, no, that's turning too much. Oh, please hold. Is it out? It was right on it. Oh, f sake, Stuart. <laughs> Oh, this might go right. Come on, you can do it. That's turning a bit, but it's fine, I think, isn't it? It's all right, though, isn't it? I think, I think so. Right. Yeah, it's yeah. slowed down that rough. That's a right. So a mixture of. <coughs> Some good luck and bad luck there. So Stuart's balls, I think, hit one of these posts and bounced back in bounds. But we thought mine would be okay, but we couldn't find it. So I'm going to take Stuart's tee shot instead. So 235 flag, yeah? Yeah. What went to the window off the right? That's 
So I think that's miles, no? That looked kind of hot. Yeah, it definitely jumped on me a wee bit. Yeah. It's probably, I'm trying to it's get probably it. past the bunker. That one feels like no, it's not that one not Yeah, this is potentially too much. It's just, it's coming straight across now. It's just swirling when we're here. Yeah. Well, you got seven? Yeah, it's, it's probably a little too much. Again, just like trying nah, to keep, keep in loft in that. All the rooms right, the flag, so. Yeah. Oh, it's not cutting though. It's absolutely smoked. Carry the bunker. Fly. Yeah, it did. Uh, Maybe up a bit same place. Bit pin high left, yeah. I love this thing, Stuart, honestly. It's the best club I've ever had in my life. I say it in every video, but it's just so, yeah. so good. So, so good. I'm the same with that three, but two. Look for Eagle. Not a great one, but still a chance. Not doing a lot. Moving a little bit right at the end. I think. Not quite as much as that, but the speed's good. Yep. Gives you a free run. Yeah, I just pulled it a little bit. Greens are so pure. Considering it's been pouring the rain most of the day again. Go on, go. Yeah, good pot. Right, so another birdie then. So five under par through six. We should be six under, but we couldn't hold a three footer between us. Good, mate. Right, so five under through six. Uh, you've got a birdie that though, that's an absolute gift tonight. So um, 295 is, is off this tee. Pins cut behind that bunker, so I don't really know what to do. I think Stuart can knock this on the green. Might just try and feather a driver. Love it. Stay there, stay there, sneak past it. No idea. I can't see. I can't see that. No so. That's one. That's got to be really close. Yeah, I think it's just front edge. Yeah. Maybe just past that bunker. Yeah. <sighs> right. I'm going to try and put this up in the stands and hit like a high, soft one. That's Take what I'm saying. We've got an angle in from there, so you can just it. go at it. Yep. Ah, oh, too far right. Not a great swing that time. Catch on the tee. Be alright if it's far enough. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. we can just chip across, but we'll see. Off of the forward tees, yeah. I think this is like the fifth Stuart, where if we dob it a wee bit, the slope will help. Yeah. Right, so we're taking my tee shot here. Neither of them were great, but I've got a better angle. Stuart was in the fairway, but we had to come over this bunker, so it looked like a harder shot. So, I mean, this still wasn't easy though. What loft have you got? 60. Like, I feel like I have to almost flop it. Try yeah. and land it just over the collar yeah. rough and let it release out. It's it. gonna it'll come out a wee bit hot now. You just need to watch it, doesn't it? As well. Doesn't it pop up on you? And then release. Excellent. It takes the pressure off. That's pretty saucy. That's pretty nice. Inside that was a melt. Yeah. That's what I said though, that if you don't quite carry it far enough, it'll get that down slope and kick on for you anyway. That's yeah. what mine did. I've got you, Stuart, don't worry. Almost. The problem is now, we've got another three-footer. <laughs> so nice chip, but <laughs> we've got another short putt. We're not going to miss this one again, though, surely. Left centre. Yeah. Come on. It's a three-foot putt. You meant to be a good golfer. Right. 
Thank God for okay, that. Okay, okay. Yeah, I didn't want to have to leave that to you again there, Stuart. So we'll six under that, par through sure. seven now. Good stuff. Right, so six under par through seven. This is going considerably better than I thought, to be honest. But this is where it gets tricky. We've got 136, 33, yep. yeah. 36, par three, but back into the breeze, not an easy pin either. So these are, scrambles are always, par threes are always harder than scrambles, but let's, uh, let's see what we can do, Stuart. Come on. You got eight? Eight, Nine. yep. Oh, he's just made a hole in one. He's just made a hole in one. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. That makes me feel so much better. <laughs> no, that's, that's a my distance. Give me. Oh, damn. Need to squat, bruh. Come on, hit an iron shot. Keep turning. It is. Oh my god. Yeah. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Lovely, lovely, lovely. That was nice. That was better. Both. The, you could that the quality of strike was so much better there. Oh. Right, so we both hit lovely shots in here. This reminds us about I don't know, 12 feet. Stuart's was about 13, 14 feet. So taking mine. What do you think, Stuart, going a little bit right? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I see that as well. Just a okay. touch. Pushed it. Pushed it again. God, I hate putting. I hate putting. I'll mark that just so you can have a run. The read was good though. It's like, I don't know, a ball on the left. Just don't hit it short and right like I did. Oh, a man is a machine. Oh, that helps. Oh, that definitely helps, yeah. Seven under through eight. Back in a breeze. Okay, so 340 this one. So seven under par through eight. This is going very well. Um, just as well as Stuart can putt. So this is not the most inviting tee shot from up here. No. It's like it's even tighter than normal, but just had a good one, Stuart. 340. Just anywhere down there. Straight into the wind. Pins in the right, but. Yeah. I'll be fine, yeah. yeah. It just, what scares me here is like the left miss is not that left from here. Yeah. And it's OB. You'd rather technically where that flag is yeah. be down the left channel as well. Yeah, so exactly. It's... So you're, you're fine there. So I'll yeah. try that. I'll try and hit it on that left green side bunker. That's oh, drifting a little right, but it's pretty good. That's going to get. Took a pretty crappy bounce into the rough as well, but yeah. that's fine. It's alright, okay. loads of loft in the hand. Got a little unlucky off the tee there, it took a bounce to the right into the stick stuff, which makes where this pin is very, very difficult. We've got a bunker to go over and not a lot of room, but try and get cute. Oh, I think that's really good. Oh, go in. In! Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. How did that not drop? Wow. All right. Well. I know the landing spot. Yeah, the job's easy now, Stuart. Wow, how did that not go in? Oh. <laughs> OK, 
Yeah, good shot as well. Just carried like a couple yards further than mine. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Young elder in his natural environment, playing his second shot there. <laughs> right, so birdie putt. Just got to move, like right centre, inside right. Not much. Yes, well done. Okay, remember to have a putt again. Right, so eight under par after nine. This is going a lot better than I expected, Stuart, I'm not going to lie. Right, so eight under par through nine, eight under par return. So 330 yards here. There's a barn at 270 though. So Stuart's laying up short of that. And if he hits a good one, I'm going to have a go and try and knock it over and put it on the dance floor. Not using a tease, interesting, but he's absolutely piped it. Who is this guy? Why are you teaching for a living, not playing Stuart? Come on. <laughs> right. Is it definitely short of the barn? I hope yeah, so. I can see it. Yeah. Okay. Should be. Right. Boom time. That does yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. So I've done my share of morning about some bad luck on the channel, but we've had some good luck here actually to miss this bunker because this is quite an easy little chip shot. So pin high off the tee. Just How loft you got? I've got 60 because I'm, I'm yeah. going to actually try and play like a low nipper this time instead of a higher one. Yeah, I like it. Just pulled it a little bit, but it's good for distance. Good. Knock it in, my man. Go on then. Go on. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Another birdie. Right. Tap that in for me. I'm just going to play these tees from now on. This is great. <laughs> oh, not getting blown about all over the place or hacking out the rough on every hole. This is good fun. Good call, Stuart. I'm enjoying this. Another birdie, we're making this look easy. Uh, nine under par to the 10. So we're on track to certainly beat that course record of 63 that Tommy Fleetwood shot. So let's try and get into the 50s. So 300 yards to the flag it is, Stuart. Yep. Great strike again. Nah, no, that's, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Might even get back to the fairway on that line. Or maybe maybe that, one of the traps down there. Maybe that green side bunker front yeah. right. Yeah, that's why I've got a driver. I think I still need still need this to get back there. The left is the miss as well, like there's a lot of them left. I can carry the bushes left, so they're not in play. And the pin looks like it's right side of the green, so driver. Oh, I've overcut it though. Not by much, but enough. Okay, so my tee shot actually did a little better than I thought. I thought it was further right over this way, but it's not, it's just in this green side bunker. So 
really straightforward bunker shot if there's the sand's quite wet that's the only thing so it's going to be harder to get some height on this but it should spin yep pretty, pretty good. good i didn't actually play it all that well but it worked out okay yeah, what yeah we're Stuart, doing? Stuart can just place it yeah i've never understood that ridiculous rule where you've got to drop it in a bunker and a scramble First person gets a good lie, everybody else is plugged. What's the point in that? There you go, that's you better. Go. That's a better lie than I had. <laughs> <laughs> Knock it in. Well, that's very well played. Shocker. Yeah. That made a much nicer noise than my one did. I kind of drop kicked into the back of it a little bit. So, another look for birdie. Four feet, our favourite length yep. tonight. Just got this. We better move in this, by the way. Inside right, right yep. edge. Oh, <laughs> that's what right Toby wants. Middle. Yep. Good dot. Use another, the hole. Another one. Ten under. Yep. That goes up. Ten under through eleven. So 11 under, no, 10 under through 11. And we've got 12 here, so 3.30 off of the tee today. Quite a nice wind as well, like kind of down off the right, so I think I can knock it on here again. Especially when my playing partner just pumping it down the middle every single time. <laughs> oh, scrambles are easy when you're going second when it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's what you're saying. It's just actually a really, lot of really good shots. And not use one. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, go and miss this one. <laughs> Do you want me to hit a bad one for you, Stuart? <laughs> oh. I think it'll carry. Like, it might be on the right, very right edge of the green. Yeah, it's probably. Maybe. Yeah. It hit really well again. I just lost it a little, little right. Okay, so... It's kind of six and two threes between the two tee shots. Stuart was a little further back, but right in the middle of the fairway. But we've decided this one's a little bit easier to hit close or even hole. So, little nine iron chip and run, just try and land it just on the green, I think. Let it release out. Yep. I think that's really good. Go in, go in, go in. <laughs> What's your high quality pins at Kunisti Golf Links for you? Uh. Like that's hit the middle of the pan, eh? Yep. Yep. Oh, well. <sighs> I've got the line. <laughs> Where do you sign up for Q school? Ah, <laughs> oh, was mine travelling a bit, Andy? Is that the only thing? Sort of down the yeah, yeah. Knock it in, Stuart. I think you're. I've not got a putter, so yeah, you've. No. Okay. <laughs> I thought we were saying it. Anyway. Okay. Okay. So I should clarify, what I meant there was just the pins, because of the wind here, the pins are quite thick, so what happens a lot of the time if the ball's got any speed, it just it spits it back out like that one did, but anyway, we're still 11 under par through 12, 130 yards here, the wind's completely dropped as well, this is beautiful out here now. Got wedge tiny, shot, yeah. tiny wee bit off the left, I've got a wee easy 9, I'm just going to try and okay. feed one in. A wee easy 9? Yeah. I like it. Mm. 
No, it's short, I think, eh? I mean, it's... It's done pretty well for a chunk and run, though, eh? Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see the slow motion on that one. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty close, isn't it? Like, 15 feet. I think my divot started on the yellow tees, but... <laughs> right, gap wedge for me. That would be nice, my man. Wind off the left a little bit. This should just be such a perfect number. Go on. Oh, it's short. Oh, right down it. Do you know what? I, I think I'd like, yeah, I think I tore I was about to say, I think I just tore it a little bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can see it there. So it just, just kept a wee bit aloft in it. Just didn't quite have the ball, ball speed on it. Right, so Stuart's had a lovely shot in here. Well, lovely result. Yeah. Uh, uphill, moving a little right. I think so, yeah. I think it's moving, moving a bit, like a ball, ball and a half. Yeah, I've got it outside. Yep. Oh, it didn't move. I just, I just it's stayed such straight. a pure putt. Yeah. That was a great putt. Just a sh** read. <laughs> Sorry. The Barney likes the bar marker, eh? Bar marker. Right, come on, you useless up. Hit a putt. No, pull it. Oh, it's hard making twos on par threes. It's a thing from like, you know, 130 yards, 18, 20 feet's a good shot. Yeah. But then the odds of holding a 20 footer is like one in six. Yeah, that would like be, that. I think it's around 18%. Especially when you snap hook your putts like I do. Really struggling with this putter, Andy. Just doesn't move at all, actually. But definitely looks like that moves a yeah, lot more than. It looks like it moves, yeah. but it doesn't. Hole. Very different hole. This is one of the hardest par fours in the world off of the yellow tees, but not so bad off of these tees. So, two 80 to the cross bunkers, the spectacle. So, Stuart's going to lay up shot of them. If he hits a good one, I'll give it a belt with the driver again. Indeed. Hit that thing. Lovely, eh? Yeah, it's great. It's one of the first three woods I could... It makes such a difference having a club in your bag that you yeah. can take out and just know you're going to put in play. Right, full send. So it's a long way. It's 290 to the face of those bunkers. I don't know if I've got this in the bag, but we'll give it a bash. Yep. Man up, he says. Thanks, Andy. Well, I can't hit it any better than that, so we'll see. Still not an easy shot. So I've hit another really good tee shot here, but it's caught this front left greenside bunker, which is really the only place over the top of the Spectacles bunkers that you wouldn't want to hit it. So it's not easy here. But Stuart was in the fairway back there, but we decided this is still an easier shot than having 120 yeah. yards in or something like that. So but there's a lot of sand here. Oh, so easy to do that. It's not bad, it's still tried to work down there a wee bit. Yeah, it's just, it's so hard to commit to getting yeah. that close to the ball and not just knife it into the face. Ugh, it's a tough shot. It's one of them where you'd be far better off for that pin if it just barely trickled into the bunker. You've got a nice down slope, no lip issues. Yeah. What uh, What did you have? I used 56. But yeah. I've got I would have loved the 50, so. I just don't know if 50 could have got up. Let's try and get this out a bit lower and run it. That's better than mine anyway. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, very good actually. That's done better than I thought, yeah. So that was the idea there, was that we said that 
if you hit a good bunker shot from here, or even a decent one, you could put it to 10, 15 feet, whereas from 120 in the fairway, it's a really good shot to put it to 15, yeah. 20 feet. I'm so. coming in over the top of the bunker as well on the yeah. right-hand side, yeah. so much better. That's the theory there. So another look for Buddy here. Beautiful, beautiful bunker shot there by Mr. Stewart. What's this doing? Looks like it's moving a little bit left, does it? Yeah, that's, that's kind of think right edge. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Oh, so... It did not move. No, it probably it hit it too hard on... It, it did yeah. move, right. So from where I was standing, it looked to me like it was breaking in, and then at the last second, went back to the right again. Hit it Very too hard on the line I had it. That was a... Oh, just as well I'm putting it so pure just now. Oh, I've yes. got you, partner. Don't worry. Well done. That was better. But so, by the way, did you watch that then? Yeah, yeah. It does actually go back to the right yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I, I thought that when I was watching yours, it was right in the middle and then wiggled back to the right about yeah. a foot short of the hole, six inches short of the hole. Weird little putt. Right, 12 under. And the wind's just picked up. Perfect. Just in time for, for the, like, it doesn't matter what tees you play these off. These yeah. are going to be hard. Like, we're not actually that far forward on 15. I know, and this is one of the ones that I'm saying that being forward here definitely doesn't actually help because you're hitting that narrow area of the fairway. Yeah. You're chasing it. Okay, so 12 under through 14, so we've given ourselves a bit of a buffer for the 59, because this, even off these forward tees, it's still not an easy finish out here. So Stuart's got driver, we're going to try and send it. I don't know how much you can actually see, but the line's pretty much the edge of the gorse there. It's a bit right on that tent. Yeah, it's a, no, it's a little right of the tent, but that's good enough, that's fairway, so... I can send one again. That should hold the fairway as well with that yeah, height, I think actually. So, yeah, it's soft enough. That's it. It's not an inviting tee shot, is it, from here? That's perfect. That should be bang on, yep. Coming right back in the marquee. Yep. Should be perfect. Good. A little healy that one actually, to be honest. That's why it went a bit lower, but went straight, so I don't really care. Okay, so my ball was fine. It was just up in the rough there, but we didn't have a great lie or a good angle or really anything. So we decided to take Stuart. So 108 yards for the second shot. Is that far enough? Should be at that angle it's coming in. Mm, it's maybe came up a wee bit short. Okay, so 108. A little downwind, so this is just a good solid 60. A little left of it, it's going to funnel a little bit left to right on the green. Like that, different route. Yep. Is that a little short as well, maybe? I don't know. That just felt like that had so much spin on it. Yeah. What'd okay. you go with? Did you go 60? 60, yeah, yeah, just a full. So I had a full 60, like 95, maybe 100. So yeah. it just felt perfect downwind to just hit a full one. I don't yeah, like so hitting a full one, but if I hit 50, 60 there and it comes in a bit lower, it, it can maybe be a little bit too hot. So. Yeah. Be interesting to see where they ended up. So that's yeah. two different routes into that. Yeah, so we got a little uh, thrown there by the pin placement thing on the tee box. It said the pin was at the front and it's nowhere near the front. So long putt, 30 feet, 35 feet. Yep. Should, from memory, it should move right. Yep. 
Yeah, quite a bit actually. There's a yeah, little shoulder so. there, isn't yeah. there? It's going to throw it. Yeah. Not much for the first half, but yeah. probably. When, it, like, when it's dying a speed, it's just going to start going that way. Yeah, I think as much as maybe a foot out on the left. Yeah. I mean, like the odds of holding this are slim to say the least. Maybe not the way you put, but. Just a little low. Mm -hmm. Good putt though. Probably started on left edge, so it's probably just. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Cup outside. Sure. Oh, look what at catch. that. Oh, that's a good putt to it. Yeah, yeah. It's just a hard putt. It's just a hard green. Like it's, it's weird. It's flat, but there's also loads yeah. and loads of little humps and hollows in it that just make reading the green really, really difficult here. Yep. Ah, just a par. Still what twelve under through fifteen. Yeah. So we're on track. The course record's done anyway. I'm pretty sure we, we, we should be alright with that. Yeah. Pretty sure we can handle four over for the last three. <laughs> <laughs>so this is comfortably the hardest hole of the night uh, 221 yards to the pin par three so we've gone from being able to drive every green to all of a sudden a hole where you would take a par and run i've got five iron you got four sure yeah i've got five as well but i'm going to try and hook it in there Oft. take a bit of loft off the shot maker let's see it oh he's played one is that enough I'll get back there. Yeah, oh, it's good. It is a bit short, but it's, it's very, very good. I mean, it's on the green. We'll take that. Take yep. that 100 times out of 100 here. No. Five iron as well. Oh, left ball. Holy Christ. Well, we'll be taking yours here, Stuart, <laughs> I think. <laughs> we'll get yours on the 2018. Christ. What the f was that? <laughs> it's even that pen. I mean, where's the red just here? Yeah, it's a shocker. And this is like. Yeah, like, so Stuart's had a really good shot in here, and we're still, what, 50 feet? Breaking five, six feet from left to right? Yep. I don't know if it's obvious on the camera, but about 10 feet short of the hole, there's a huge ridge there that it's going to throw the ball off from left to right. It's a really, really difficult pin. So take a two putt and run here. You can de-green this left. Yeah. Oh, hopefully not. Yeah. Thanks for the positive vibes. Oh, what a try. Great putt. Almost. That line will be a bit more pace. Yeah. We're good. Should really hold us now after seeing that. Mm. Yeah, good putt. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that must have been about the same club face angle as my five iron on tee. <laughs> Good three though, that's fine. So still 12 under through 15. It's just a tough finish, eh? Yeah. No matter what the tees. Just a hard finish.
Okay, so the 17th, how far is it from here? Not any markers. Still long. 300, yeah, 375. Yeah, just a tough finish, even off these forward tees. So we're both going over the bar and off the tee. So it's only like a, what, a 190 carry today? Yeah, about that, 200 maybe, not a problem. Oh, that's problematic. Is that wet? Hmm. Oh, like bail. Not what I was hoping to see. No. Oh no, that was really sore on my wrist actually. Right, so I couldn't find my ball after that big snap hook and looks like Stuart's ball has landed in the burn and kicked back out, so we've been really lucky here. And I promise that is genuine, we haven't just dropped it and said that, so he's got a big scuff out of his ball. So what did you say, 140? 140, yeah. Not much wind now though, eh? it's dropped again. Yeah. I'm just going to try and flight one in a wee bit. Please be good. Looks good. Yeah, over a shot. Yeah. Still is a wee bit of breezer. That tried to come back left a touch. Mm -hmm. Right there, please. No. <laughs> no. That was a worse drop than yesterday. Is that going to jump? Oh, I don't know if it's going to jump or not, Stuart. Hmm? Wedge, I think. <laughs> if it's the number, it's really good. Oh my. Oh, I don't know, we'll see. Looked very good. I mean, I, I've just stuffed it and you just have to do that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, mate. It's a team game. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so a good look for Birdie. Stuart's had a lovely shot. Mine was pr still pretty close, 15 feet, but Stuart's is closer, so eight feet. Moving right. Yeah. Not loads though, eh? Like, no, no. Especially this green's just so true. Yeah, this green's just so pure. Yeah, it doesn't look loads, but just right at the end, I think. Mm -hmm. Just like that, there you go. <laughs> God, the man can putt. So that is a big... Oh, so he did, yeah. But to be fair, I think the wall hit the second shot. Hmm. Yeah. I would have hold that if I had to, obviously. So, yeah. <laughs> nice. So 13, 13? 13, yeah. Yeah, 13 through 17. Want to go? Right, so 18th hole, 13 under par through 17. So the goal was to shoot anything under 60 was my goal. So I'd like to think we've achieved that. I'm sure we can manage a double bogey here. So let's see if we can finish with a birdie, Stuart. It's a shame we weren't out here a week or two later when the stands were finished, but still looks pretty cool. Oh, it's beautiful. That's perfect. Just right center of the fairway. It is getting quite, it's not dark, but quite hard to follow the, yeah, yeah. Follow the balls. The mm -hmm. Right, try and not hit this one 700 yards this time, you knelt. How far is it for the bump? 340, I think. So. Yeah, about that. I don't think I can get there, it's kind of cold. It's not a lot of wind and it's quite soft. Lost it. That's good. Is it drifting a Just, little bit? Uh, yeah. Maybe a wee bit drifted at the right, but it's probably in the bunker. Right, okay. Like a greenside bunker. Yeah, I saw it start pretty so. straight, but yeah, it's just really hard to, just that dark cloud, it's quite hard to yeah. track the ball. But it was a hell of an improvement on the last hole anyway. Right, so another good tee shot here. So just that last hole was a bit of a 
weird one, but I don't quite know how to play this shirt. I've got 50 in my hands to play it low and chase it up, but... Or is that wee ridge that comes off the, the bunker probably, what, 15 feet short of the flag? Yeah, probably helps a little bit. Yeah, so, so a you can play low. a low one in there to get it stopping on that. And... Oh, Christ, not that low. Half balled it, set. I'm going to lie, that practice swings weren't very comfortable. Right, right hit a better one than that, please, Chuck. Give that pressure. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Two absolute uh, crackers to finish. Jesus. I'm going to try that again. All right, so I'd sort of hoped that a plus three handicap and a PGA professional would be able to get a 50 yard shot inside 60 feet, but <laughs> turns out I was wrong. So this is actually not an easy two putt now. Outside the right. Hmm, yeah. I think that's pretty good. Oh, go on. Oh. Oh. Best part of it all night as well. Yeah, I kind of broke back at the end, didn't it? Yeah, that's kind of what I was looking at. This is quite close to the pin for uh, the final day of the Open. Yeah. Maybe, uh, not the one in 2018, but in no. 2007 with Garcia when he missed his yeah. putt from like there to win. 99 as well. Oh, just needed the other side of the marker. Right, so a tap in for a par and a round of 57. Yep. So we got our target. So thanks very much for the game, Stuart. Thanks for the challenge. Yep. Cheers. Totally enjoyed enjoyed that, that, my man. That's good. Thanks for the camera work as well, Andy. Good man. Cheers, mate. So that's another video done, guys. So it was a little different. I don't know if Andy can show you, but we're about three weeks away from the senior open. So some of the grandstands and that are just getting put up here. So. We'll try and get this video done and out in time for that so you can get a good look at the golf course before the tournament. But until next time, thanks again, guys.